Okay, so this is the van update so far. Still a work in progress. Haven't bolted any of the shelving down. Just messing around with layout right now. So I did remove my 4x4 four four, uh, box for flags in the middle. I felt like I wasn't really using as many flags, maybe on like bigger shoots, um, definitely. But I, I think I'm just gonna stick to these 40 by 40 so I don't have to have like a huge box in here. I'm still trying to figure out a way to secure these guys. I might build like a smaller box, but it would be really thin. Um, so that's the situation right there. Still have room for the innovative cart on this side. Actually flipped to the passenger side for all my G&E. So that way it's a little bit more balanced. Um, if it's empty, like if I don't have a bunch of stuff on this side, at least on the driver's side, um, I'm kind of balancing out the weight a little bit. Um, I've noticed when I had all the G&E on this side with the driver's side, the car was a little bit more lopsided if this whole section was empty with the innovative cart. Because the innovative cart is heavy, but it's only 100 pounds. Um, so, you know, unless I have it fully loaded, it's a little unbalanced. Um, so, yeah, I have a new um, shelf here. Same kind of configuration. Except this one's a little bit wider, and I was able to go right... Don't know if you can see that over the wheelbase um, with this shelf here. So I have a little bit more room. I can probably squeeze another C-stand in there. I'm eventually gonna get rid of these chrome ones and just get all black. Eventually have a total of seven or eight black C-stands here. I have all my shot bags underneath here. So there's a total of eight uh, 15 pound shot bags. Then I have um, low combos here. I can probably stick three or four in there then underneath that shelf you can't really tell from this angle but there are some high roller um, combo stands with wheels i have two of them right now could probably stick a third one in there but and then on this side the c stands are poking out right there as well as the the tall um high rollers and then i have all my um, kind of right now accessories for the innovative sorry I have all my accessories for the aperture lights here the spotlight and then some of the domes and all that on this top shelf on this bottom shelf I'm gonna configure this a little bit different this is all placeholder probably gonna pad uh, the shelves and then put um, I'm gonna buy another one of these racks just to use these additional items and I'm going to put build out this um, then maybe put some wood or something like that to really just kind of close it off same on this side so this will be kind of more self-contained and then I might put another shelf just right under here so I can tuck in my 1200d and my 600x on this side here so, yeah, this is still a jumbled mess, but I got rid of the padded cases so that way I could uh, store more equipment. And then I do have longer stuff here, like an 8x8 frame, a boom pole, um, holders, T-bars, that sort of thing. And then I have an F22C right there. And then on this side... I have two uh, DeWalt tool cases, so I can use these for, right now they're empty, but I could use them for whatever, um, camera builds, or just whatever I need, um, stingers or grip or whatever. Then on this side, the other um, 600X, all the accessories are there. Another F22C panel under there. More uh, longer stuff. And then I have two empty crates on this side. So I'm trying to figure out what to put in those. I could just have stingers and um, like 
grip heads and grip accessories there. I'm not sure, but I'll figure that out. What's going to go in that case or those two crates there. Um, put this back on here. But yeah, that fits in there pretty nice. I could just have a bunch of milk crates on this side. Get rid of these, these tough cases. And then just have two stacks of milk crates going up. So I might do that. And store some more stuff in there in those more accessories and whatnot. Let me try that. Okay, so I can fit the two 60Xs with two soft boxes, all the accessories in this one case. I'm trying to figure out a way to pad it a little bit on the bottom, just with uh, vehicle travel and whatnot. So yeah, that, that works pretty good. Okay, so Spotlight fit perfect in one of these crates. So that one is good as well. Could even put some accessories on top. There's still room. So we'll see. Okay, so only thing I don't have on the van as of right now are Apple boxes and then the four by frames. That's the only thing I had to ditch. But I could easily put some apple boxes here and here. Or I can put apple boxes on the front seat and the bottom, but then I'm back to not having a passenger seat. Um, let's see. I mean, obviously the cart is empty. I mean, there's a bunch of random crap on here. But I would probably, you know, have the cart packed with stuff, whether that's apple boxes, I mean, whether that's crates on this side, or whatnot. Um, so, cart is empty. I'm going to just say I'll dedicate cart for cameras. So that way, I still have room for cameras underneath here, here, or on top of here. Um, I have all these aperture diffusions right there, um, the 90 and the 150. And then I have this shelf free now. I could probably move this panel light. I need to figure out a better way to travel with these guys. They're just kind of big and annoying. So I could put... Um, Aperture stuff up here on this shelf. So it's a little bit easier to access. Um, and it might be a little bit safer up here as opposed to, you know, all the C-stand knuckles and all that stuff. I know eventually I'm going to try and pad these shelves and build some, like, little um, wood walls and whatnot. But until then... I could just put these up here and they can right up there. Might be a little bit easier on my back to pull in lights off the top shelf as opposed to the bottom. Okay, added two tripods. 600D, I mean 1200D, 600X on here. Same lightweight diffusion. Still have a bunch of space up here. So potentially I could try and mount all this stuff up to the ceiling somehow, bungees or whatnot, and then have shelf for whatever. More stuff. So feeling pretty good about this configuration. Only thing I don't have are Apple boxes. So I'm just gonna figure out that. Could potentially mount these up here and then put Apple boxes there, but man, it seems like such a prime location for Apple boxes. 
Maybe I can put lighting on this shelf. Tripods up here. And then apple boxes on the bottom. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, getting pretty close to final configuration. 600X, 1200D, all the cabling, light dome mini, light dome SE, SE, reflector, put some carpet down on the top shelf. I'll do that for the other shelves. C stains, low boy combo stains, high rollers down there, H 15 pound shot bags. Uh, these are the Matthews reflector set. I just have it in this bag for now. I'm trying to make the cart somewhat usable. I mean, trying to make the van somewhat usable um, in case I get a gig uh, last minute. So I want to make sure I can have everything I need. Uh, eventually I might build this out, but for now, just the soft padded case has a, a little protection in there but when I have some more downtime I'll build a proper wood um, box for that I have the aperture 150 and then 90 centimeter lantern then the innovative cart nothing's on the cart right now this is all just random stuff um, I don't think I would have any of this stuff on here usually but um cart's empty for now have a room underneath to store some more stuff and also the ramp then on this side i have all the crates um still have the one two three four five six full size and then two half size on this side I'll probably have, you know, stingers, grip. I have the ballast for the 600X and the 1200D. In one of these, I need to label it um, the 60X, um, both of those. The spotlight, batteries, AKS, and then this one's empty for now. Just all these extra dividers. So I have all those in there. Then on this side, I have the two Sackler tripods, the Flowtech, and then the Video 20. I can fit another one here. I gotta find a couple more padded cases for those. So I can have three Sacklers right there. Um, I do have another half crate here some grip clips i'm not sure where these will go essentially i have another sh shelf here um the f22c and then i don't know if you guys can see that but i do have a space here where i'm putting the hyper reflector set i'm not sure if you can see that but that's where that will live i rarely use them but just in case we'll have them there I have a uh, family apple box in there. Probably fit some more stuff right here. Not sure what at this point, but yeah, then all my frames and long stuff like boom poles and T-bars and that sort of thing will live here. And then the same, I have a clear passenger floor, which is nice. I have um, my little camera saddle here. This is all the hardware to mount uh, the shelves. I'll do that later. And then XLR and all my rags go there. Some tape and then I have a bunch of stuff behind this uh, passenger seat. But yeah, it's kind of nice being able to have a passenger seat that's not super cluttered. So if someone wants to ride with me, they can do that. I'll find a better place for that. But yeah, it's coming together pretty well. Okay, so I think this is pretty close to final. 
couple little things I'm tweaking here and there. But just to give you guys an update, I have shelving locked in, bolted in. I lined um, most of this shelving with um, some rubber. And I have a 1200 head, 600X head, and then all the cabling in the middle. And these will just ride as is. I mean, they're they're kind of tied down here, so they're not really going anywhere. And I mean, this thing's so heavy anyways. I think it's fine. Um, I have the six um, C-stands here with room for, I want to say maybe another two. It'd be pretty jam-packed to fit another two, but possibly. We'll see. Six 15-pound uh, sandbags, low combos, high rollers down there. Uh, have the innovative cart uh, loaded. Inside the van, the shelves are pretty much empty. Just a bunch of random stuff on the top. And empty on the bottom and middle. I have the 40 by 40 Matthews flag kit in the middle. Um, eventually I'll build this out, but for now it's fine. I just have it bungeed, uh, ratchet strapped so I can pull it as far this way so I can fit my cart in there. Uh, something else I'm trying that's new is I have two Matthews um, light stands here with room for Probably another two or three here. I don't know, maybe. And they're just resting on the wheelbase there. I mean, this whole space is just kind of empty and there's nothing there. And there's enough clearance um, from the innovative cart. So I might line this guy with um, some wood on the top and on the side or protect it from the innovative cart. And then I can um, protect the top, maybe put some foam down and then find a good way to strap these guys down. I'm just using some standard bungees for now, which is probably not the best solution, but um, yeah, that's something new that I'm trying. I do have um, some of my bigger diffusion up here, the 150 um, dome and the 90 centimeter uh, soft, uh, the 90 centimeter lantern that's on that side. Then on driver, passenger side, um, I have six full Cityo crates and two Apple boxes on the bottom. So that's on this side. I'll, I'm waiting on some labels for these guys. So everything will be labeled. Um, but, you know, I have the P60Cs, the, um, let's see, I have the two ballasts. For the 1200 and the 600X, stingers, grip stuff, the spotlight attachment, uh, the P60, uh, P60s in there. Um, yeah, those are the six crates there. Still trying to figure out configuration wise. Um, and then I got a bunch of random stuff that's kind of long on here. Um, I have like frames and boom poles and just random uh, accessories there. So I do have a little bungee going from here to here to keep the crates in place, hopefully. If I'm riding without the innovative cart. So we'll see how that works. Then on this side here, I have um, two half crates. One here and one down there. Two tripods, um, Sackler Video 20, and then Sackler Flowtech 75. And then I have two more sandbags down there. And then this shelf is pretty much empty. Still trying to figure out what to do with this. Um, I do have um, the reflector set there. I might put another reflector set here. I don't know. Maybe there is a little bit of a gap there, so I might have to bungee this side so those don't fall out that way. Um, 
let's see, I do have underneath this side, I have two uh, F22C aperture uh, flex panels down there. And that's pretty much it. I'm still going to line this guy with some carpet at some point. And then passenger side is still empty. Just got a bunch of tools that I've been using all day. And then I have this guy that I'll figure out a place to put him. Shove it somewhere in there. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll leave this spot for like cameras, um, potentially. Maybe a little touch and go plate just to quickly have a camera built, ready to go right there. I don't know, still trying to figure it out, but I'm pretty sure I've used every single square inch possible. And of course the innovative cart is empty. This will usually be loaded up, still have a bunch of room underneath the cart so I don't know let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below if there's any suggestions you would want to make or anything that you think would work better this is all still a work in progress I'm pretty sure I'll be working on this van setup for the rest of my life so we'll see actually a quick update I have a teleprompter a little 12 inch there that all put in this little spot and still have a little bit more room for something else I don't know we'll see